Hello YouTube friends. What I got here is the box that I had made. You can see I made it in retro style. I have retro cord and a retro plug that I took off another radio that I this is for a, a, a plug or a socket I should say for a radio that had a, the capacity of plugging a record player into it. So I use that. The transformer is inside and I use those uh, those twist lock things on the on the on the the um, the wires, and then uh, wrapped it with electrical tape. And on the side, I I use these strain reliefs, and uh, they hold the cable pretty good. And on this side, I labeled it 125 volts, and on this side, I labeled it 115 volts. And it's it's running cold. And I tell you what, I've had this radio on. I've been running it for a few hours now, about two hours. And it's been on steady. Well, this save your $130 value for free. That's right, free. Now on this box here, this is the the current and the and the voltage box. Count it here, two, four, six, eight. That's 0.8 amps. And it's a little less than that now. After, after it stabilized, it went a little less than 0.8 amps, so it was about 0.78 amps. And here's the meter here, and it shows 120 volts there, so it's, it's, it's less than that. And I measured it with another, with another voltmeter, and I had 122 volts now going into this box, and I got about 112 coming out. So this meter represents 112 volts coming out of here, out of there, and that's where the radio is plugged into. So right now I have El Guapo Engineering sitting over here, and he's verifying what I'm doing there. Isn't that so? That is correct. And what I have here is the... Um, the clock here. I put this clock on. It shows an hour and 59 minutes. That's how long the radio has been on for. An hour and 59 minutes. Because so I put the, the clock on as soon as I turn the radio on. So I could lower this a little so it doesn't interfere with our broadcast here. And any, anyway, I wanted to say is that these lights are slightly dimmer and the, the magic eye is a little, little dimmer too. We could expect that because it's about about 10 volts less than what was going into it. So now what I'm going to do is move this radio, and I got to check that transformer and see how how hot it's running here. So I'll move it away from the wall. And here's the inside. Now I'm going to hold my hand on here. Kind of like the, the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> Nobody expects the Inquisition. Okay. So I'm um, holding it on here. And before I could only hold on about 10 seconds before I would burn my fingers. And you can see I'm holding it on here. It's, it's warm. It is warm. It is not hot. It's not burning my fingers. I'm holding it on here. Pretty cool, huh? Well, it's not cool. It's warm, but I'm not burning myself. And then I'm going to check the fuel coil here. That's good. It's good. It's not hot. One would expect it to be a little warm after being on for two hours, correct? That is correct, sir. So I would think that this looks like a wrap here. It's on for two hours and one minute. Plays good. Now it may have a little less sensitivity. His wife and he like to bring other guys into bed. Second 
to take each other's throats off trying to win. Well, it's working pretty good. What'd you say there, El Guapo Engineering? I said it works good. Ah, yes. Yes, may we. We oui, we, oui, Monsieur. Well, that's that's French, isn't it? Correct. Okay. How do you say it in Spanish? CC. CC. Well, that's it, folks. Looks like a wrap. And what I wanted to say is this transformer here, it's running for two hours, and it's it's cool. I mean, it's transformers are pretty efficient. They're like 95% or maybe higher efficiency. I'm really happy with that. It's cool. So what I could do is I could just put this cover on it like that and just seal it back up because it doesn't generate any heat at all. And I made it retro looking with the retro cords and stuff. So someone maybe thought maybe that could be made like 50 years ago, but it was made just yesterday. So that's it, folks. Oh, my God.